For dinner tonight, I am making sloppy joes. So I've got the ground beef going. I put the manwich in it. I do love the manwich. And we're also having steamed asparagus. And then I made homemade french fries in the oven. Just another quick, easy dinner tonight. So that's what we are having for dinner tonight. And here it is, sloppy joe, homemade french fries, and steamed asparagus. I'm having milk, almond milk with my dinner tonight. So that's what's for dinner tonight on Tuesday. Sadly, it's not Taco Tuesday, but it's Sloppy Joe Tuesday. Hi everyone, for dinner tonight, we are going to make chicken spaghetti, but not chicken spaghetti. It's gonna be vegetable spaghetti. So I have a bunch of vegetables I need to use up. There's the end of the celery that I wanna use up. I've got a little bit of green bell pepper. I'm gonna use red bell pepper. I'm gonna use fresh onion. This power greens, the date is February 22nd and today's the 23rd. It's still good, but I'm going to go ahead and use it up just to get it used up. I'm just going to chop it up and put it all in there. It'll be fine. It'll just melt away and just add extra nutrients. I have water boiling. I'm going to do some whole wheat thin spaghetti. I'm going to use some healthy request cream and mushroom soup. I'm going to make it a little bit creamier by using some fat-free Greek yogurt. And this is some leftover low-fat ranch that we had for Super Bowl Sunday. So I'm going to mix that in with it also. And I'm going to sprinkle it with cheese on top and bake it in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes. So let's get to cooking. part is chopping up all the vegetables and if you have little kids this is a good recipe for them if you chop up the vegetables really really super fine because if you do they just kind of melt away and they can't tell that there's a bunch of vegetables in there but my husband and I love vegetables so I'm just going to kind of rough chop them I'm not going to worry about getting them chopped up fine because we don't care if there's a ton of vegetables in there at all I'm also going to steam some asparagus to have with it. I chopped up all my vegetables and I put them in a bowl. The pasta is boiling and that only it's very thin spaghetti so it only takes maybe five or six minutes until it's the way you want it to go in the casserole. It doesn't have to be completely done just kind of um, lightly al dente. And then I'm going to put all this in the bowl. I'm going to put the ranch dressing, the Greek yogurt, and the cream of mushroom soup, a little bit of cheese, and then I'll sprinkle some cheese on top. And when the spaghetti is done, I'll mix it all up and put it in a 9 by 13 casserole dish and put it in the oven and we'll be having dinner pretty soon. All right, I mixed it all together, put it in the pan spread it out it's creamy it's got a lot of good vegetables in it now i'm going to put cheese on top of it and put it in the oven it's going to start smelling really good too Here it is all nice and brown and bubbly and hot and the steamed asparagus is done. I decided to put some yellow squash in there also. And here it is on the plate, the <clears throat> asparagus, the yellow squash and the vegetable spaghetti. I'm having heart healthy red wine and I have cracked black pepper all over my asparagus and yellow squash. It's so good. So we'll see you for dinner tomorrow night. For dinner tonight on Thursday night, we're going to have a frozen pizza and a salad. I've got a wedge of iceberg lettuce that is getting a little brown, but it's still good. So we're going to shred that up and add some super greens to it, some cucumber, some tomato, and some Kalamata olives. And we will have pizza and salad for our dinner tonight. And I got this pizza for only $4.24 after coupon and I bought a rebate. 
and the salad doesn't cost more than a dollar so it's like a five dollar dinner which is a really fantastic deal anytime you can have dinner for five dollars you're doing great so let's get to cooking i gotta chop everything up and put the salad together i got the pizza in the oven so let's get to making dinner tonight and here it is the pretty well done pepperoni pizza and the salad and a cold Bud Light next, which actually tastes like watered down beer, but I like that. Tastes good to me, so I think it's really great. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. For dinner tonight on Friday, we're gonna have tacos. Big shock, so I, do, I know I make tacos at least once a week, but again, it's easy, it's quick, it's relatively healthy. I have lettuce I need to use up. It's, you know, it's lamp and it's turning orange. So it needs to be used up. So I'm going to shred it up and make the tacos. I'm going to mix up some, shred some of this up and put that in with it. And I have this little tomato from our little tiny homestead, <laughs> which is our little tiny backyard. Um, well, I mean, we do have a pretty good sized backyard, but we don't really grow anything except we did uh, grow tomatoes over the winter and they actually did make it through the winter. So I have this little tomato that we'll put on our taco and some onion. And I've got these tortillas. There's just a couple in the package that need to be used up and then I'll start on this one. So I got this one at Walmart, the 24 pack for 98 cents, which is a fantastic deal. And that's another thing about tacos. They're extremely budget friendly, very, very cheap to make. And then I have my can of black beans and the minute rice, brown rice. This is one serving, but it's a lot. So my husband and I split it and it's going to be delicious. So um, for the meat, I'm going to get out one of those veggie burgers and put it in here and cook it up and crumble it up. And then I'll put my black beans in the saucepan and heat them up and we'll be eating very very shortly and I think we're going to have a margarita with our tacos tonight because it's Friday night so we'll have a little margarita so we will see you when it's all done nice because there's no sharp edges And here's our tacos, our black beans, our brown rice, and we're having strawberry mango margaritas. So I did mango margarita, but I put a couple of fresh strawberries in there. And so we're having our strawberry mango margaritas. So happy Friday. Happy Taco Friday. For dinner tonight on Saturday, I found these pork chops in Mama's freezer, so I'm thawing those out, and I'm going to put those in the oven and bake them. I have like a spoonful of mashed potatoes left over. I don't know why. And then I'm going to cook a russet potato and make mashed potatoes, 
and steamed zucchini and squash. So that's what we're going to have for dinner tonight. It's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm going to let the um, pork chops thaw a little bit so that I can get them apart and get them in a pan. And I'm going to put some sliced onion on top and squirt some barbecue sauce on them and just bake them in the oven. And that's what we're going to have for dinner tonight. I'll show you as we start cooking. All right, I got my pork chops in a 9 by 13 glass baking pan because they're pretty big. I've got a whole bunch of onion on top. I just had a little bit of this left, and I just put that on it, this balsamic salad dressing vinaigrette. And that's just going to cook for a little while. And... I don't want to put this on too soon because it'll burn. So after about 30 to 40 minutes in the oven at 350, I'll put some barbecue sauce on it just to give it a little sweet something for the top. I call these smothered pork chops. I haven't made pork chops in, I don't know, five or six years. So I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. But Mama always fried her pork chops in a little bit of breading. She would bread them and then fry them. They were so, so good. Um, but like I said, I haven't made pork chops in forever. I used to make them and I would put onion and a lemon peeling on top and then like a tablespoon of ketchup and barbecue sauce mixed together. So it's kind of like that. And then I also have my potato, which one potato goes a long way. So one potato is plenty for my husband and I to have a big pile of mashed potatoes. And then I have my zucchini and yellow squash in the pan are ready to steam and you would think that that would not take a long time but I just turn it on low so it takes about 30 to 40 minutes to steam um, so I'll turn that on while the pork chops are baking and everything's gonna be smelling good and dinner is gonna be so good tonight I hope so we'll see you when it's all plated up and ready <clears throat> Okay, this has been in the oven for about 45 minutes and it smells so amazing with the onion and the balsamic. Just that little tiny bit of balsamic, there was maybe a couple of tablespoons in there. Oh man, it really was fragrant with all the onions. So now I'm going to squirt some barbecue sauce on it and let it go for about another 30 to 35 minutes. It's getting pretty brown there on some of the onions. so. Hopefully they don't burn too much, but it smells so, so good. Okay, they're done. They did get a little bit brown. The pan did get a little bit blackened, um, but they're still going to be good. It's just going to have to soak for a while, but no big deal. These glass pans usually clean up really nicely. Okay, here it is. Smothered pork chops mashed potatoes and steamed zucchini and yellow squash and heart healthy red wine so that's what we're having for dinner on saturday night we'll see you for dinner tomorrow night for dinner tonight on sunday night i'm gonna make pasta bake i've got some pasta sauce this is my next to last jar and then i'm out i've got some whole grain penne pasta i'm gonna put in a can of mushrooms and then I've got these um, BioLife mozzarella shreds that I got free at Albertsons. And I'm going to put some of that with it. My water's are already boiling, so I'm going to boil the pasta. And then I'm going to put it in here and layer it with the sauce and the cheese and the pasta and the sauce and the cheese. And put it in the oven and bake it. And we're also going to have a salad. And we are going to have some garlic bread that I have in the freezer that I need to use up. So that's what we are having for dinner tonight. Let's get to cooking. I'm going to use about half of the box. That'll be enough. That would be four servings, and when you mix it with the sauce and the cheese and the mushrooms, it makes a giant pan of pasta bake. Okay, we got everything in the casserole dish and layered. I also had this in my refrigerator, and it needed to be used up, so I, I put dollops of this in it, so it's kind of like a lasagna-y type pasta bake. 
and then I put the mozzarella shreds those I put some of those but I also put some of these not not a whole lot but yeah I'm gonna put it in the oven now and bake it for 350 bake it at 350 for about 30 to 45 minutes until it's nice and brown and bubbly and cooked through and we will see you when it's all done And here's dinner, yummy pasta bake, salad, and garlic bread, and I'm having milk with my dinner tonight, so happy Sunday. For dinner tonight on Monday, we're having veggie burgers, so I've got the veggie patties heating up in a pan. I've been working on these onions for a long time, trying to get these softened. They take forever. They've been going about 30 minutes, um, just steaming and trying to get softened. So they're like grilled onions on the burgers. They're really good that way. I've got some steamed broccoli and carrots going in here. I've got the buns for the burgers. I've got some sliced onion, fresh sliced onion. I've got some lettuce that was very, very brown, but I picked over it and got the best part of it, so it'll be great. And I've got a tomato. I'm gonna slice that up, and we're gonna have that on our burgers. And then in the oven, I have some tater tots going. They take about another 18 minutes and then they'll be done. So yeah, that's what we're having for dinner tonight. That's what we're having for dinner tonight, burgers and tots. I think I cut myself off. If not, sorry, but yeah, that's what we're having, burgers and tots. I'll show it to you when it's all plated up. And here's our burgers and the onions finally got softened and all caramelly and yummy so I put that on top and we've got the tater tots and the steamed broccoli and carrots and all kinds of good condiments for our burgers tonight. And I like to have milk when I'm having burgers so yeah that's what's for dinner tonight. Burgers and tots.